Hello and welcome to Maths by Saas. This is my third lesson of B1, chapter number 8. Exercise 8B, that is about the percentage change and reverse percentage. Move to question number 14 and let me read the question from the book. Uh, question 14 says, every year the value of the serving machine depreciates by 25% of the value in the previous year. 25% of the, its value in the previous year. If the value of the machine was 11,250 in 2012, find its value in 2010. Okay, try to understand the question that the information uh, that is given to us is the value of some machine in which year 2012 and we have to find the value of the machine in 2010. That is the back year that for this purpose we have to move backward or we have to apply the concept of reverse percentages if you are not clear about that what is the idea for percentage change increase or decrease or the reverse percentages you have to apply the basic lessons uh, for which i'll be giving the link of the lesson in the description box because the lessons of mathematics require continuous integration and practice of lesson with the uh, previous lesson because if one link is weak the next lesson will also be affected so let's try to uh, apply cpa approach to understand this question uh, cpa concrete pictorial and abstract okay so i will be making some diagram here to understand the question uh, that the value of serving uh, machine is depreciating decreasing by 20 25 percent of its value in the previous year okay so uh, how many years under discussion are there? Uh, the information is given about 20, 2012, 2012 and the value which is given of the machine is 11,250. 11,250 is the value in 2012 and then we have to find the value of this machine in which year in 2010. And now look between 2010 and 2012 uh, we have 2011 as well 2011 as well and uh, the second information is that every year the value of uh, this machine depreciates decrease by what percent 25 percent 25 percent decrease okay so it means this 11,250 is the decrease value of which year 2011 so in order to get the value in 2010 first of all we are going to find the value in uh, 2011 so what we are going to do is that as there is a decrease of 25 percent 25 percent decrease so it means that 75 percent of the value 75 percent of the value in which year that is uh, 2011 75 percent of value in 2011 in 2011 uh, this is 11,250 let me reconfirm this uh, I always advise it to my students that you must have to check and recheck the data 250 1 percent of the value 1 percent of the value value in which year value in 2011 that is 11,250 divided by 75 and 100 percent of the value of the value percent of uh, the value in 2011 uh, this is 11,250 divided by 75 multiplied by hundred so uh, these are the long calculations you can use calculator uh, this is 11,250 divided by 75 this gives me 150 multiplied by 100 so uh, 150 or 15,000 15,000 so in 2011 the value is uh, fifteen thousand uh, dollars now uh, we have to find yes fifteen thousand 
we have to find the value in 2010 now try to understand that this uh, 2011's value 2011's value is uh, what 25 percent 25 percent decrease or 25 percent less than the value in uh, 2010 so it means that for 2010 this is 75 percent of the value 75 percent of the value value in 2010 uh, this is 15,000 okay and 1% of the value in 2010 in 2010 is uh, 15,000 divided by 75 and now what we have to do we have to find the 100% of the value in 2010 so what we are going to do is 150 sorry this is 15,000 divided by 75 multiplied by 100 let me go up uh, for the value in uh, 2010 value in 2010 uh, that is uh, I have to divide 15,000 uh, divided by 75 this is 200 uh, multiplied by 100 this is equal to 200 okay one two one two three four zeros and this will become 20,000 so value in 2010 is a uh, dollar 20,000 20,000 I hope you are really clear about percentage increase and reverse percentages please watch and understand these all lessons properly for better understanding of your o level examination to question number 15 intermediate level okay question 15 says the value of an investment portfolio decreased by 8% in 2010 in 2011 its value increased by 5% of its value in 2010 of its value in 2010 given that the value of the portfolio at the end of at the end of 2011 was 61,824 find its original value okay let's read and understand the question once again students that the value of the investment portfolio decreased by 8% decreased by 8% in 2010 in 2011 its value increased by 5% of its value in 2010 given that the value of the portfolio at the end of 2011 is 61,824 find the original value okay now see let's make some diagram here uh, that how many years are there in the discussion uh, we have uh, three years 2011 2011 2010 2010 and uh, its original value obviously original value will be one uh, year back 2009 okay now uh, CPA approach often helps us in understanding such uh, difficult questions the value of uh, investment portfolio decreased by 8% in 2010 in 2011 its value increase in 2011 its value increase by 5% of its value in 2010 in 2010 okay uh, and at the end of 2011 at the end of 2011 the value at the end of 2011 is 61824 dollars this value is 5% increase of the value of which year 2010 this is the important thing that we need to understand okay this value is the increase of 5% of the value of which year 2010 okay first of all with the help of this six, uh, 61824 
which is the value of that investment portfolio in 2011 and which is 5% increase of 2010 we are going to find the value of that investment portfolio in what year in 2010 as this is a 5% increase so uh, we are given uh, the value of portfolio investment portfolio at the end of at the end of end of which year end of 2011 2011 that is 61,824 yes this is dollar 61,824 this uh, value which is at the end of 2011 is 5 percent increase of the value of 2010 as this is an increase so this is actually 105 percent of the value value in what year in 2010 2010 105 percent of the value in 2010 is 61,824 1 percent original will always be taken as 100 percent of the value in 2010 value in 2010 this will be equal to uh, 61,824 by 105 and 100% of the value of the value in what year in 2010 in 2010 this is 61,824 divided by 105 times 100 and now as these are the big calculations you can use calculators such type of questions with such calculation will be coming in paper 2 where you can use calculator otherwise examiner will be setting the data according to the need of the paper so let me reconfirm this 61,824 61 A24 divided by 105 and this gives me 588.8 multiplied by 100 and then I have to multiply it by 100 and this becomes 58,000 58,880 dollars now 58,880 58,880 dollars okay uh, the value in 2010 and we have to find uh, the value of uh, this uh, portfolio uh, original okay for that we have to go one year back and this of uh, uh, 2010's value is actually uh, eight percent decrease the value of investment portfolio decrease eight percent in 2010 so this will be the eight percent decrease eight percent decrease okay so uh, if it is eight percent decrease it means that hundred minus eight is ninety two this is the ninety two percent of the value in uh, 2009 so 92 uh, percent of the original value of the original value you can take it as original value we uh, have to go reverse the year is not specified but uh, it's the general idea okay 92% of the value uh, in 2009 in 92% uh, of the value uh, in 2009 is equal to uh, what 58,880 dollars 1% of the original value value will be equal to 58,880 80 divided by 92 and 100 percent 100 percent of the value of the original value
value will be equal to 58,880 by 92 multiplied by 100. Okay, let me see calculations are coming in camera. Let me move towards this side. Okay, uh, 58,880 divided by 92. Uh, this gives me 640 multiplied by 100. So, this will become 640 or 64,000. So, dollar 64,000 is the original value of that investment portfolio. I hope you are really clear about percentage increase and decrease and how to find the reverse percentages. Please watch my lessons, like, share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time. Thank you very much.